You're drinking water. I'm drinking coffee. That says something there. <laughs> and I've already had my coffee for the day. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of on this kind of cleanse thing. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've been fasting, um, okay. kind of doing intermittent fasting. Okay. And right now I'm going on 42 hours. Actually, yeah, 42 hours. Wow. Um, no, wait a second. It's it's three days. So I, I my last meal was Sunday afternoon. Oh, wow. So that's, that's over 70 hours. Yeah. yeah. So just, just coffee and water. So you're doing a, a definitely, that's a definitely a fast. That's a, that's a fast for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody let me know. What are you guys working on right now? Did you guys set any kind of real estate goals, any life, life goals um, for, uh, for 2021? I, I, I don't like to use the, um, the resolution thing personally, it just seems like, you know, it's, it's when a new year's resolution, it's easy to let it go, but I've got some personal goals I'm trying to accomplish. So I've got some weight loss goals and some kind of just like cleansing goals. Anybody here have anything they want to share? How about you, Sean, anything you're working on? Uh, well, in, in regards to uh, business and whatnot, yeah, I'm always, I've always got something cooking, man. Like, uh, we're definitely trying to take things to the next level this year with our, our business. Not, we're not trying. We're, we're, we're definitely um, getting there, making things happen um, with the real estate side of things, that the coaching side of things. I'm looking forward to helping, uh, you know, a whole lot more people this year. And we're off to an excellent start, you know, just getting things in order so that we can deliver more value to my, my coaching students. And, you know, it's been awesome so far, man. So far, so good. I mean, January 20th and, and man, it's already been a, a, so much happening that this year is just, it's just awesome, man. I'm just looking forward to what's, what's else is to come. And like you, I, I don't really set like new year's resolutions, so to speak. I, I like to set goals. Like once I have them, I, I set it, I attack it right there and there. I don't wait to like a, some particular time frame in the future to, yeah. to get started. You know, when, the, you know, the, I always tell folks, man, you can't wait till all the lights are green before you head to your destination, man. When that first light turns green, you, you go and uh, fate will, will, will figure out the rest of the way for you. That's true. That's true. But every now and again, you hit a red light. You got to look both ways before you cross. Otherwise, someone will sideswipe you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Mm -hmm. I, I actually kind of do that same thing you're doing with the intermittent fasting, but mine is, mine is a little different. I, I do it on a daily basis. And um, I usually don't eat until about 4 p.m. And um, and then I'll, I'll eat until 9 p.m. I'll eat a bunch of stuff until until nine from four to nine. And then I'll stop eating at that point each day. OK. Yeah. Yeah. There's a thing. I can't remember what it is, but there's like a it's like a 16 hour thing where like you don't want to eat for 16 hours. So um, a friend of mine's doing it, too, but he stops it like at eight o'clock and then he goes 16 hours before his next meal. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a. A common one. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, you guys, we're going to get started here in just another minute. Um, thanks for being here. Looks like somebody yeah. in the audience said the keto way. Keto, yep. <laughs> you got to get in that ketosis. And this, this Facebook live thing has changed. I don't know what's going on with it, but I might just ignore this for now. All right, we'll kill this. We don't need to do it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I appreciate it. And this is like our third live presentation of the year. I can't believe it's already 
you know, they're going into the third week, which is r- absolutely ridiculous. Sean was just talking about the 20th and I mean, it feels like yesterday we were just like getting ready for Christmas as we're already almost done with the month. So I hope you guys are having some success in your business or at least kind of getting some things moving forward. Um, you're obviously you're here tonight because you're looking to solve some issues or maybe, uh, you know, put some better efficiencies in place. Uh, but that's what we're here for. So I'm joined by Sean Young. Um, he is an expert real estate investor. He is a wholesaler. He's a mentor. He's a coach. Sean, man, thanks for being here. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me, Benson. Thanks for having me up, man. Definitely glad to be here to add value. Yeah. And I know you're super busy. You're working with all kinds of students and you're working on, you know, helping them do their businesses better, you know, so far this year, you know, what are you hearing from the wholesale community, the investment community, when you're talking to people, like what are people up against? What are some of the problems they're trying to solve? What are you helping people with? Well, uh, one of the main things I see is that a lot of folks out here, are, they really don't have a lot of direction uh, because there's so many different directions to go um, with real estate. Uh, you, you know, that with the exit strategies, you, you can either do wholesaling, um, you can do fix and flips, you can do, you know, creative financing, you know, owner financing, stuff, you know, things of that nature. Um, you can do lease options, guys. There's so many different directions. And I think what happens is, is it, it, it kind of puts people in a predicament where they don't know where to start. And they say, you know what, this is this is just kind of too much. It's, I, I thought it was going to be a little different than this. This is just not for me. It, you know, right. so I, I think it's just really having a, a direction that that uh, that folks are really lacking nowadays. And, and that's why a lot of people are looking towards mentors and coaches. And, mm-hmm. and, I, and I definitely agree. That's definitely a great route to go. Even even if it's not me, of course, I'm not saying go for me. But I mean, hey, oh, Michael yeah. Jordan has a coach. Uh, LeBron James has a coach. I mean, so. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, business executives subscribe to that same philosophy where you always want to be working with somebody who can help you improve in your life. And so they don't have to be, you know, they don't have to be like your superior for them to be your mentor. They just have to have niche knowledge. Mm-hmm. So if like, you know, you're trying to get better at a specific thing in your life, like you can have a coach who can help you do that. Um, Steve was just saying he's looking for an expensive way to find wholesale deals and an inexpensive mentor, what would you say? I mean, inexpensive mentor, like it kind of, it's a, it's kind of a weird um, term for me because inexpensive, does that mean cheap? Does that mean like, do you pay what you get for in this business? Yeah, um, I, I, it is. You, you do it. you like that saying says you, you get what you pay for. And uh, th- th- that is definitely true. Um, but one thing that I'll say about our business is, um, you know, kind of buyer beware, um, you know, just vet the guy or gal that you're, you know, potentially wanting to have as your mentor, um, just, just re- research them, you know, see, make sure they have some type of a track record, make sure they know what they're talking about um, before they, before you have them come on and, uh, and lead you. Don't get fooled by the shiny objects, meaning like, don't just buy into some, someone because they have a great, you know, shiny marketing commercial or something. I mean, right make sure that it is someone that you resonate with that you feel like, Hey, you know what? I think I could work with this person or get direction from them. It's going to be huge um, in, in regards to your success that you can actually work with that person. Oh yeah. Vibing with somebody, same kind of core values. You guys have to get along. I mean, it's, it's kind of like you're hiring, you're, you're hiring for somebody to be on your, on your team, right? It's like you're the employee, you're the employee, but it actually goes both ways. Cause I've heard some mentors who have a very strict criteria and who they're willing to work with, right? So that they're just not letting anybody in. They want to make right, sure that that person <laughs> is is committed and they're willing to sacrifice and work the long hours and put the work in. And not everybody's willing to do that. They think they are, but then when they get into to like a, an interview type situation, they're thinking, I don't know, maybe I'm not cut out for this, right? Yeah, and this business yeah, isn't for right. everyone. You're right, man. That that's what it is, and, and I, I because of that, I've created an interview process, and and we only take ten students per month. And and you're right. I mean, it doesn't matter if we've got a hundred people lined up. It that just doesn't. I mean, I'm going to take everyone's money because they want to give it out for coaching. I, right. I, I want to make sure it's a good fit, and that you can succeed with my process and programs and and things of that nature. And I I know you can. It's just a matter of 
I need to make sure we're a good fit because I, if I if I feel there's someone else that's a better fit, I'll say it every time. Hey, listen, you know what? Mm-hmm. I think you've taken great action by by you know reaching out to me, but I think you'd be better suited with someone else. Uh, and here's a couple of great other guys or gals that you might want to look into. So I'm always open to do that because I, I'm here to really give. This is not about taking and filling my pockets, guys. When you serve, uh, you you'll always get rewarded, and that goes with your real estate business as well. Don't go mm-hmm. out there trying to you know, with the mentality of, man, I'm going to get out there and make a bunch of money getting, taking people's houses. You know, don't think of it like that. Think of it like you're solving problems. You're going to go out there and solve people's problems and be a solution for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. And, you know, one other thing I want to add about like the coaching situation is, I mean, coaching is is for somebody who's really ready to start taking action. Like you don't want to go and get with a coach if you're just kicking tires or if you're just kind of trying to decide if real estate investing is for you. Like you really want to had to like, you know, talk to anybody like your family and get your, your significant other on board and your business partners. Cause it's a, it's a good investment, but if you're not ready for it, like you're going to put that money into it, you're not going to get out of it what you would expect. And then, you know, everybody's kind of disappointed. So really think about that process, but also too, you guys, there's lots of education online. You know, there's stuff, there's YouTube videos and there's really good books. I mean, you can do a search on YouTube right now. I'm sorry. Um, Amazon for books. And there's thousands of books out there on real estate investing. It's it's ridiculous. Sean, you've got a book that you yeah. published. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, the name of my book is called Adventures in Wholesaling. And guys, it's not one of these big, thick monster books that it's going to mm-hmm. take you a year to read. I mean, it's a it's a small book. It's concise. It's like key lime pie, guys. It, it, it's thick and it's I mean, it's not thick, but it's, it's rich. Um, okay. So w- what's in there will get you exactly what you need. No fluff. Um, it gives you instruction on getting started to have the right mindset in this business to succeed. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of education that just can't be conveyed through like a coaching situation, um, at least not in an effective way, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And some of that you learn from doing, right? Like you actually get into the thing, you actually do your first deal. Like there's some invaluable lessons you can't get from a book or, you know, a podcast or a video that you just learn by going in and doing it. And you learn something every single day, right? Like if you go into it and you know, you're going to have your ups and downs, your ebbs and your flows. And if you take something from all of those situations, that is kind of some of the best education. You know, it's the, the school of hard knocks is what they call it. Right. Every um, time. <laughs> but also too, there's a lot to learn by what's what other investors are doing in your market who aren't mentors and who aren't coaches, but can teach you a lot about the business by just what they're doing. Right. And Without um, a technology-driven approach or a data-driven approach, it's really hard to get that education. But one of the things that we built into what I'm going to show you tonight is the ability to actually see what other investors are doing. So, you know, with with COVID and all this stuff, like virtual has been become kind of like this hot topic, and it's a buzzword right now. But what we've been doing, and what a lot of companies have been doing, is implementing a virtual approach to you know, executing your, your business plan. In this case, it happens to be real estate. So whether it's fix and flip, buy and hold, or you're looking to do, you know, wholesale, you need to really have a good understanding of how that's done and what other people are doing to have success. So I'm going to show you some ways you can do that tonight. Um, and, and one of the, the very first thing that kind of powers that is this, what we call market intelligence. So we can actually show you and your, your target markets where the hot areas are at, where you should be investing, what you should buy properties for, what you should sell them for, how long does the process take? Um, you know, are there are things you should be doing in your market, but you shouldn't be doing in other markets? Or does your model that you started with, does it even work in the area you're in? Or should you tweak it or modify it or go, go someplace else completely? Um, the other thing that's difficult about this market, and we were just talking about how busy we are, Sean, but in, in all business aspects, we're always looking for ways to create systems and to create automation and streamline the business so that we can focus our time and our effort on money-making activities and not all those tedious tasks we have to do every day to keep our business moving forward. And real estate investors are no different, right? Absolutely. So I'm going to show you tonight some ways, you guys, that you can put some automation in your business because I know that a lot of you aren't doing this full time and this is it's your side hustle for now, right? And maybe even for some of you, it's kind of a hobby, right? Because you're not really structured and you're not putting in, you know, consistent time or um, time that's, that's 
you can track, right? That's that you're duplicating on it on a consistent basis. But when you implement a technology driven approach that includes automation and, and, and um, algorithms, it, it changes everything, honestly. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some, tonight some ways that you can actually put some automation in your business. So instead of getting those hobby-like results or part-time results, you can actually start to get some full-time results that can change your whole business and eventually get you to a point where you can abandon that J-O-B and start doing this full-time and then really starting to push it forward, right? When you're instead of doing like your first deal or doing one or two deals um, a, a year, you're, th- you're talking about doing several deals per month and it's absolutely attainable. You just need a better way of doing it. So when we originally designed our technology, the, the goal was to get you access to the best data because one of the, the biggest problems for investors, wholesalers, whatever, is, is determining that value right? After repair value is the key to everything we do. And if your value is off, even just a little bit, it will lead to you making mistakes. It could mean that you are chasing deals you shouldn't be chasing, whether they're on market, off market. Um, You're going to pass up on deals you shouldn't pass up on. These leads are so valuable and we're spending so much money and time on them that if you're using kind of just general numbers, what you end up having to do is... um, you end up putting a lot, a big buffer in there, like a lot of padding so that you don't make a mistake. And so if you're using Zillow or you're using some of these other websites or you've, you're just pulling data that's inconsistent or not accurate, or it's delayed, you're going to end up making a mistake. And so what you end up doing is you put all this padding in there. So you pass up on deals that you wouldn't necessarily have to say no to because your numbers are bad. And uh, Sean, the opposite is true too, where, I mean, w- what are some of the stories you've heard from the wholesalers who are, are chasing deals they shouldn't be chasing, locking them up and they're trying to market them with bad data? Yeah, guys, that happens quite, quite often. Um, there's a, there's a ton of folks out here. See a lot of folks get excited about saying, Hey man, I, I got a, I got a contract. I got a, a house under contract or you know, whatever. Guys, that that that's great. That that is good. But let me tell you what's the most important part is the closing table. Um, guys, it, it, you can get all the deals you want to under contract, but if you can't get to the closing table because you've got a, actually a good deal on your hands, you know, getting deals under contract is not going to do anything other than than burn your reputation in whichever market that you're doing that in, and especially with your buyers because they're going to look at you as someone who's inexperienced or someone who doesn't have the the sophistication. Uh, to bring them actual deals that make sense for them, because they, trust me, they're gonna they're gonna do their due diligence, um, and and they're gonna figure out that you're that you're not that you're not really of value to them, and they're just gonna move on to someone that brings them value. Yeah, you you talked about that reputation, right? That's sometimes you only have one chance with a, a buyer or one chance to really prove yourself to the community, and it's a small community, right? Like as much as you know how big this country is like i talk to people all the time and we always end up knowing somebody you know who, who we we both know it's a really small community so if you are not if you're taking shortcuts and you're not doing things right people the word gets out so put a, a, a really good system in place make sure you're using really good data double check and, and second check your your um your numbers Make sure you've got you know the best comparables available so that you can get that solid after repair value and then figure out what your maximum allowable offer is so that you're not passing up on deals, you're making the proper offer and you're not having to back out on deals down the road. There's nothing worse than working for three months to chase down some motivated seller. You finally get them, they say they wanna work with you, you force a deal to be a deal that's really not, you're using comps that are two miles away and you know, yours as a townhome and you're using single family properties as comparables and you market that thing and no one's responding to you or they're telling you you're crazy. That's, that's where things go sideways. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is, is really make sure and be, be very diligent about putting out a quality product, whether you are doing wholesale or where you're, or you're doing fix and flip or buy and hold that matters, right? A quality product matters. So when you have this data, you're going to be able to have a much more strategic and a targeted approach on how to invest, where to invest, 
and what kind of investing you should be doing. So I'm going to show you this here uh, in a moment. So let me jump off here. And um, this, this slide here is all about off-market versus off-market leads. And we're going to talk about that when we get into the, the actual demo. But what, what I like to say is that every good investor should have multiple sources of deal flow. You don't ever want to put all your big eggs in one basket. And so if you've got a multi-pronged approach and you've got fillers out there and you've got a bucket for anything that comes across your desk, you're going to be way more effective because, um, you know, Sean, I, I talk to people all the time who they're, they're passing up on deals because they've, they've got one way of doing things. Like they only know how to do wholesale or if like they come across a deal and it's got, you know, it's a thin deal. So there's not enough equity there. So that they're, they're not doing any kind of creative deal structuring. Like there's always a way to make a deal work, right? Absolutely. I definitely would agree with you. And, and folks that are out there, listen, you know, you, you might say, well, man, you just said that a second ago, like there's all these different ways you can go. And, and that's just what Benson said. He's like, well, man, you could do a creative, you know, deal structure. You could traditional. There's so many different ways. But guys, what, what, we're, what I want you to understand is that focus on understanding that is finding a good deal that that matters. So this software allows you to be nimble with the direction that you could go. You don't really have to be rigid and say, you know, I'm just going to wholesale or I'm just going to do you, you, this tool gives, it's an equalizer. It gives it makes the plan feel equal um, for folks that are, that don't have, you know, a license that don't may, might not have certain contacts. This data gives you that, that those contacts that you need. So I just want to make sure I threw that out there, guys. Don't, don't feel again, overwhelmed with, you know, I don't know what to do once I get a deal. I'm sure Vince is going to give you some great uh, ideas tonight on exactly what to do with the deal. Absolutely. There's, there's a bucket for everything. I, I've seen some deals that were basically like absolutely at retail. There was no room to do anything with them. And the investor came up with a creative structure where it was kind of a, a seller financing deal and they had a low mortgage payment. And then, but the rental rates were really high. Like they had a good margin there. So they just did a sublease and were able to kind of cash flow a few hundred bucks a month with a property that had no equity in it. So there's all kinds of different things you can do. Um, but what I just did here is I, earlier I mentioned that you should try to learn from what other investors are doing. And I also talked about after repair value and how important it is on everything you do as a real estate investor, no matter what your business model is, ARV drives everything, even if it's, if it's rentals. You're always thinking about, okay, what kind of margin is here for me? And the margins you should be thinking about is not what, a house is worth in its current condition, but what is it worth if you put some money to it and fix it up, right? That's after repair value. And what I just did is I ran a search for any, all the properties in the markets we're currently doing business in, which is 20 different states. Uh, we're actually going to be nationwide starting at the end of um, the quarter. So end of, by the end of March, we'll be nationwide. So this whole thing's going to be lit up. So if you're interested in Albuquerque or Oklahoma City or Kansas City, like we're going to be there um, it's coming down. We've already acquired all of, of those contracts and data, and we are launching off-market data, which is really exciting. I've been really wanting to do this for a couple of years now is, is implementing some of these off-market leads to go along with some of the on-market. So you, again, you've got multiple sources. So we're going to have all the assessor's data, owner information, mortgage and deed data, transaction history, all the pre-foreclosures. Um, as well as uh, REOs and everything in between, short sales, liens, bankruptcies, divorces, absentee owners, and vacancies. So this is a, a huge opportunity because even though you know the moratorium has been extended, and I know everybody's kind of thinking about it, like, well, what's going to happen with foreclosures? Um, all, our group, you know, Sean and, and some of the people we work with, really have their finger finger on the poor, their finger on the pulse of. What's happening with that? One of them, um, I was telling you about Lisa earlier, Sean, and she is one of those REO brokers who's paying attention and talking with all of these asset managers around the US mm -hmm. and it's absolutely coming. So one of the things I want you guys yeah. to do is start to prepare yourselves on how do you insert yourself into that foreclosure process? Learn your local um, foreclosure laws, go to the local county or jump on the website and study the majority of counties have like really thorough and detailed information on if it's a judicial state, if it's a redemption state, 
all of the different timelines and everything that the the person in foreclosure has to do and how the lien holders can act. You guys, I made tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundred plus from doing exclusively foreclosures back in the first downfall. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't prepared for it. Like I was just kind of hacking the situation. But if you start preparing now and you start getting access to the right systems, the right data and the right tools, once that foreclosure wave comes, you're going to be able to put, get some significant movement in your business, whether you decide to keep it as a rental or fix and flip or wholesale those deals. So start doing that research now. It will go a long way. And then we'll have that data here in the privy system, or you can access it from someplace else. I know like with, with um, Denver County, they actually put all of their foreclosures right in the website. So see what's available in your state. There might be some free um, data sources for you that you can get, but don't wait on that. Um, so a lot of this stuff is coming down, but some of the things that are going to be indicators of those foreclosures as they come down are other kind of distressed financial situations that are before someone goes into foreclosure, like uh, bankruptcies, uh, liens on a property, uh, you know, like they've stopped the foreclosures and they've also stopped people making payments on that. So then you can't evict renters. Um, but the, the person who's in foreclosure is still building up a, amount, a big amount of, of um, backlog on payments to their mortgage company, the landlords are. So are you going to start to see more of um, absentee owners? You know, a lot of people can't afford their rent. So there's going to be vacancies, right? So there's symptoms of this stuff already starting to float to the surface. And if you start to pay attention to the symptoms and not just what finally is going to come down in a foreclosure format, you're going to be way ahead of the curve. So we plan on doing more education on that as this thing goes. So stay tuned to that. And then if you, um, you know, again, do, do your own research so you can understand how to do that in your local market, but also in the markets you're currently targeting. But when you said, when I say the markets you're currently targeting, where should you be investing? Now, most investors invest based off of convenience. So I'm in Denver and I look for deals in Denver because it's convenient, right? But honestly, Denver is not the greatest market to be looking for deals. I know a lot of investors that are here who are doing stuff outside of the state because there's a better opportunity elsewhere. And yes, you might be able to make some money here, but the margins are smaller. So does it make sense for me to put all my money into a deal where I'm only getting a 10% return on my money or can I take that same amount of money and put it into one of these other markets like Chicago or Indianapolis or Philadelphia, where there's a lot more investor activity. Look at this. It's, you know, four times as much over here in Chicago than Denver. Indianapolis is a lot more it's, than this um, as far as um, the, the, cent, the city center. Um, Philadelphia is really hot. Um, Indianapolis is one of those up and coming markets, but they still have really good prices. I think the median home price in Denver is like 400,000 plus Indianapolis. You can get a house for 40,000 that has an after repair value of 200,000. So there's amazing deals out there. So, you know, Sean, when you look at this map and you're trying to decide, okay, well, where would I go look for deals? Like, what do you think about when you're, you're trying to pick a place to invest? I want to know where the activity is going on. I, I want to know where, where is it? Um, not where, not where do I like to vacation? You know, not who, who do I like to, not where do I like to, you know, see on the map, but where is the activity? And, you know, just taking a, a quick glance at this map right here, you know, like I say, like you, you pointed out, we got Chicago, Philly, the Washington DC area. I mean, it, it's activity going on out here, guys. And, and it's not uh, Tampa, uh, the Orlando area. And this is, this is an activity that you have to guess on. This is actual data. This is what's happening right now. This is daily being updated daily. So, uh, so this is, this is awesome stuff. Now the, the activity is especially important for an investor because we, if, if, when we're trying to do this business, we're always thinking about after repair value. And if you're in an area like Nashville and you go out and you're doing a bunch of of marketing and you're looking for deals and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to look for stuff in Nashville. Well, you're going to have a harder time doing a deal there because you're likely going to be in an area where fix and flip flips are not happening. Right. And the only way you guys to prove after repair value is if one of the comps 
of the house you're trying to turn into a deal has been fixed and flipped. So after repair value can only be determined from a house that's sold that was renovated. Now it sounds like common sense, right? Like, well, duh, but 95% of the people aren't thinking about it that way. They're chasing leads. They're chasing that shiny thing in front of their, in front of their face. Like, like Sean was saying, like, don't get distracted by leads. If you have a layered approach to your business and you target these high investor activities first, and then you put together a strategy on how to find deals in those areas, you're going to solve a lot of the problems that plague investors down the road when it comes to getting that house to appraise or marketing that property and having a, your own buyer take it off your plate or being able to refinance a, a, fix and, uh, a fix and buy or fix and hold that you did like a burr um, with when that appraisal is done. So if you choose these hot areas like this, before you start looking for deals, you are going to be way better off. And I'm not talking like it's going to be nice for you. I'm talking about tens of thousands of dollars difference in your pocket or the difference between you, you know, giving, putting out a good product and, and building relationships with, with your end buyers and, or the, op, the opposite side of the coin, which is putting out a bad product with bad comps that nobody wants. And now you've ruined your reputation. So this solves a lot of that for you. So well, folks, let's look at a there, couple of the When Benson just said Burr, he wasn't saying that because it got cold in his room over there. Uh, Burr <laughs> is, a, is a strategy, guys. And there you go. It stands for, for buy, renovate, rent, uh, ref, uh, excuse me, buy, yeah, buy rehab, rent, uh, refinance, and repeat. So, so that's what that stands for, guys. And yeah, and it's a hybrid there, approach, <laughs> right? So you get the best of all worlds when you do Burr. I was just talking to a big um, a broker slash investor up in Ann Arbor and Burr is like one of the major things they do. What's so cool about that, you guys, is you get the best of both worlds. You get the equity that you build into a property because you're buying it from the perspective of a fix and flipper. But instead of selling it on the back end, your exit strategy is the same as what buy and hold. So you keep it as a rental. And so what you're basically doing is, is building your own bank, right? Like people are out there searching for money. Well, you can create money out of thin air just by improving a property and then having it being in an area where fix and flips are at. And all of a sudden you just created all this equity that you can use for, um, you know, to, to use on your next deal, or you create a buffer there in case there's a downturn in the market and you have, you know, some, some buffer there in case, you know, you know, property values decrease. So it, there's a huge benefit to Burr and um, there's a lot of people who are teaching it bigger pockets. They, there's a lot of books on it. That's, they have, have a lot of education. So check that out, but let's check out one of these markets real quick. So let's look at, say, uh, uh, let's look at Philadelphia. So even within this local market in Philadelphia, you can see here that there's, you know, there's activity or 2,784 deals, right? So let me refresh this here. I just, uh, my internet's been really weird today. Um, you can see there's certain areas in and around Philadelphia that are hotter than others. So it's a heat map. Red is the hottest, blue is the coldest, and then it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You want to be where the majority of the investor activity is. So, you know, like the average investor who's over here in this area, if they lived up in Del Ran, they would drive for dollars in Del Ran. They would look for deals here because that's what's convenient. I talked about you know, the side hustle, the side, you, if you have, you know, an hour and an evening between when you get home and when dinner starts, you're not going to drive all the way over here because it'll take you two hours to, to go there and come back. So this is why people do it. And I understand it, but it, it's, it's not going to work. You need to be where the comps are at, right? If you're going to prove ARV, you need to be where your comps are at so that you can actually have the evidence to prove that. So I zoomed in one more time. Now this cluster is going to break up in the individual properties that comprise this cluster. And then we're going to be able to see all the before and after data on it. And earlier we were talking about education and there's a lot to learn, a lot of really good things you can get from a coach and a mentor and books. You know, part of one of the things I think is most valuable with a coach is like the accountability, right? The support, like the, the handholding. Um, when you, when we're looking at this, we're talking about, okay, what specific neighborhoods are hot? 
So if you were a wholesaler and you were going to drive for dollars, you'd want to drive right in this neighborhood right here. Because that way, if you find a rundown home or you put a bandit sign up and somebody calls you off of it, you know you're in an area where you can actually prove after repair value and get that good ROI in the back end. Um, let's take a look at one of these houses. So here's a house that just closed today, 290,000. And this is just an example to show you like how up-to-date our data is. Like it's the most up-to-date, accurate data that you can get access to period, unless you're actually an agent in this market. Uh, and by the way, one of our goals is to connect uh, investors with agents. So you guys can create like a power team to be able to do these things all over the US. So that's one of the benefits that we, we have for you is we hook you up with investor focused agents who can help you do your deals or at least, you know, have that introduction and see if it works. But, you know, there's a lot of investor focused agents out there who can really uh, help you out. But one of the things that is benefit to you or even to all of our agent friends that are here is that the, our algorithm uh, automatically comps every property out 24 seven. So you don't have to spend the manual uh, tedious time like I do as, as an agent, not using Privy, but the reason why we built it is it takes a lot of time to do this. And actually it's more of an art than it is a science, but we use all of the major property characteristics to pull these comparables. And it's all real time. This report's called a live CMA. So here's all the real time sold, active, under contract, um, and pending comparables. If you're doing Burr or if you're building a portfolio, here's all the rental data. So you can get a good sense of what things will rent out for um, when you are doing, you know, running your numbers to determine your cap rate and your cash on cash return. Now you want to learn the local market in Philadelphia. Well, here's a really good way to do it. So a note, if you had been a privy user in July of last year, we would have sent you an email because our algorithm, honestly, it, not honestly, but it actually, actually finds deals for you at the same time it's comping them out. So we found this back in, in July. It came on the market for 79,900. And here's what the property looked like before they renovated it. So, you know, it, it's, it's a bit of a mess, but the, the more work it needs, the better the opportunity, right? This is what we look for as wholesalers and investors. And over here on the right, is what they did to it after they renovated it. So they actually sold this thing for 290,000. That's the number right here. They grossed, you guys, $210,000. So earlier, Sean, we were talking about on-market versus off-market properties. And you know, you've been in this business for a long time. Like what, what is your perspective now, you know, seeing kind of both sides of the, of the coin when you're looking at on-market versus off-market? My, my perspective has, has definitely shift because uh, I did I never really looked at on market. I didn't even I never even looked at those as opportunities because the fact that they were on market. So that's the the key factor for me right there. Yeah, absolutely. And and here's a deal. Like if again, if you had been a privy user, you would have gotten this deal in your inbox. So it was sent out at twenty seven percent of the ARV, twenty seven percent. So twenty seven percent is it's almost one of those unicorn deals, like where people are like, oh my God, I got something 27% back in 2002. Like they're extremely hard to find. This is one that somebody got and it is obviously they, they made some money on it. We don't know how much because we don't know what they spent on it, but we know the percentage. But what's cool too is about, is the other side of the coin here is learning the market. What kind of construction is adequate for the neighborhood? Uh, what kind of uh, materials should you use? What kind of design can you put into a house? A lot of those things paralyze people, those, those um, decisions they have to make. So why not just do what the guy down the street just did? There's no reason to pull a whole lot of effort and time and mind space in that when you can just give this, these photos to your, your contractor mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, Joe, do this to the house. That's what the guy down the street just did. And they go in and they can put together a scope of work on a house that you find just based off of the comps down the street. Mm -hmm. um, you can also see here, they added a bathroom. Um, if they added square footage or any, anything like that, you'll know. It was under construction for 126 days, 68 days on market. Now, if you're wholesaling and you're newer, you might be thinking, well, this none of this affects me. Like I just need to find deals and I need to, you know, assign them to my own buyer. 
that's where you, you want to start stepping up your game. You want to include better data. You want to include more value in your marketing so that you can help your end buyer kind of connect the dots in their mind when they're evaluating your deal. The more questions you can answer for them by providing this data, the easier it will be for them to say yes to your deals. And then be the more data you have that supports that after repair value, the more money they're willing to give you, right? And, and the less friction you're going to have when you give them this data, they're not going to try to beat you up on price. If you've got enough margin there and it's still a good deal and you've got all this data there, it's going to make it way more simple to close those deals and get to the closing table, which Sean was emphasizing earlier. Like it doesn't matter how many deals you have in your contract. If they all have bad data and you know, you haven't done the proper research and you're in an area that has no ARVs, then you're wasting your time, literally. Yep. Now, Sean, the, the guy, the company that just closed this deal is Jefferson 215 Holding LLC, right? So one of the, the problems that I know a lot of investors have is building a buyer's list. Now, when you see this, how, how do you see this being beneficial to a wholesaler? It's, it's highly beneficial because that, that's who the buyer is. And so now you guys you reach out to that buyer and you say, hey, Mr. Buyer or, or Mrs. Buyer, um, I see that you just renovated a property down the street or that you bought a property in June uh, of last year and uh, you just sold it. And uh, I've got a similar property. Um, you know, that, that's where that comes into place. That's where that's handy. Or if you don't have anything, you reach out to that person and say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I see that you did buy a property here. Are you looking for similar properties like this? Because I, I come across these kind of deals all the time. And then that's how you build that relationship as well. Yeah, it's a great opener. It's a really great opener. And so, you know, I, I see a lot of wholesalers building a list by leveraging Facebook groups, which I think is actually a good way of doing it. It's way better than the old fashioned way, which is just collecting business cards at the local RIA. With Facebook, you can actually do, a, you know, you can scale and you can get a lot more people. But all of those people that are responding to a Facebook post of like, you know, who's doing deals in Philadelphia? you know, get on my buyers list. Like they're going to get, you know, 15, 20 emails, but are any of those people doing deals? Likely not, but most of them are probably wholesalers just trying to get in the middle of a, a daisy chain kind of deal. So this is a way better way of doing it when you can actually see this is a person that just closed the deal last week or actually no today, I, my apologies. <laughs> um, and they're likely going to do another one, right? And if you've got, if you're marketing for deals in this area and you're using privy to find deals here, which is the next step. You've got a buyer in the neighborhood who already disclosed a deal who you know can execute and deliver and actually take those things off your plate. So it's a game changer. Now you would do that. You would do your off-market marketing here. So you would use the same zip codes for this area. This is where you would put your bandit signs. This is where you would drive for dollars so you can get a better outcome on the back end. But you can also find on-market deals. Don't forget like that one I just showed you that was a 27%. That was an on-market deal, you guys. You could literally put $10,000 or more, right, Sean, on top of that one. And you'd have no problem selling it to the end buyer, would you? Not at all, guys. Not at all. Because even if you say to yourself, well, man, we don't know what that person paid to fix that house up. Well, I can tell you this. I can, I can, I can kind of tell you that they didn't pay $100,000, right? So let's just say they did spend $100,000 to fix it up. Again, they got it for seventy nine. dollars they put a hundred in, they're at 179. They sold it for 290. Guys, I mean, that, there's, there's, that's still a, a killer. That's a, that's a great profit. That's a great profit for, for an investor. So you've still delivered them a great, uh, a great, great deal. Yeah, absolutely. And th those deals are there. So what I would uh, challenge you guys with is, is keep your mind open to the opportunities that are out there. Ignore the, where the source is. Where it comes from doesn't matter. All that matters is that it is that the numbers make sense. If you got it at 24% or 27% of the after repair value mm -hmm. and you got a buyer who's like, well, I don't want that. It's, it was on market. Well, you got to find somebody who is a little bit more educated about the situation is actually looking at real numbers. It, it'll tell you a lot about who your buyer is. If they have, they have got a problem with you um, because it was on market. Because at the end of the day, it's all what you can buy it for and what you can sell it for. And if you can make money on it, then you made money. That's right? all that matters. That's what matters. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So here's a deal. This is an example of a deal that our system just found. And I don't even know if this is how great this is because I just ran the search, but it came on the market today, 74,000. Here it is. It's, it's a, a, a town home or a row home. 74,000 obviously needs some work. You know, that's where the opportunity is, you guys. And then when we scroll down here to the, um, to the map, it'll show us the comparables. But look, at it. it's got some of those keywords in here that a lot of people like to use to search for deals, rehab, fixer upper, like stuff like that. A lot of people like to look at. Um, and then when we look at the county record data, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of comparable data on that. Um, if anybody is actually working remote, like don't feel like you can't do a deal here in Philadelphia because you're in Los Angeles or something like that. Okay. The information is here for you. They got the street view, got all the data. Now, because again, you guys, I chose a, a high investor activity area. Look at all these flips in the area that have been completed. So there's lots of flips here, all the ones with the before and after data. And when I look at one of the closest fix and flip properties, this one right here is the closest comparable. Remember the algorithm is getting rid of all the properties that aren't similar. It's only showing us the ones that I would choose as an agent or an appraiser would. This one just closed. It's for $159,000. You can buy this one for 74. At asking price, you guys, it's, at, it's better than 50% of the ARV. That's a deal. And again, that's the, without even negotiating a deal. That's just at asking price. And the cool thing about it is you didn't have to skip trace or cold call or knock on anybody's door. This is something you could write an offer on today. And you got yourself a deal. Now you'd have to go out and once you get under contract and you have to market it. Well, it's a lot easier to market this deal because you can show them, you know, five fix and flips in the area. And that's going to be, make it way easier for your end buyer to say yes, because you're giving them all of the data. You can show them the before and after. All of these CMAs are shareable. So if I click share and I grab this link right here, you can send it out to anybody and they don't have to be a privy user and they'll be able to view this comparative market analysis. Mm -hmm. So that's just one example. That is just the one that popped up right at the top here. Here's another one that's at 99,000. Now remember the the algorithm that I used to find this was better than 70%. So it's looking for at least a 30% margin there. And this one you can get for 99 and some of the closest solds are at 153. This one's at 210, 144. So there's, there's another potential deal. This one's a little bit thinner than the other ones. But again, remember we were talking earlier, you know, creative deal structuring you know, you don't have to have hit a home run on every single deal. If you can get it so it's delivering you some revenue, there's absolutely no reason why you should pass up on one of those deals. Another one at, at 99, this one's at 115. Let's see if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me. I mean, th these are deals, not only that guys, but um, you know, some of you guys out there that are listening, I mean, I'm not putting, putting it past you guys that you might have some money to invest in with yourself. I mean, you, you might have, you know, some, a friend or a family member that, that, uh, you know, has some capital that, that you can even borrow from. So that's where, where this comes in, into place, guys, you know, private money is out there. I mean, money is out there. Money is really cheap right now, guys. So, um, you know, take advantage of, of your hands on that. If that's something that, that you want to do. So don't think that this is something that has to be um, just passed on to someone else. You can make these margins yourself. If you want to take on that project based upon the numbers, if you say, you know what, I, I think I can handle a, buying something for 60, 70,000 and put another 30, 40 in it. I think I could do that myself. Well, look right here at what your, your, your margins are. If you do that. So how, how powerful is that guys? So, so like Vincent is saying there, there's more than one ways to skin a cat or more than, more than one way to collect, uh, uh, you know, rain in your buckets, guys. Rain in your buckets. I haven't heard that one before. I'm going to steal that from you. Is that cool? Steal it, man. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess now I haven't stolen it since I asked. So now I, it, it, it's, you kind of gave it to me uh, by permission, but um, there's all kinds of deals here, you guys. And this is just, you know, one thing, every market's different. You can run the same search on the entire U S and it will show you dozens of deals all across the U S that you can buy every single day, dozens. So there's endless amounts of deal flow out there. You just need a better way of doing them. Um, the other thing I want to point out before I, we start to close out is 
it doesn't matter where the, the property comes from. So like if you're driving down the street and you see a house that looks like it's run down and you want to run comps on it, well, all you do is you just enter the property address right in here to the search bar and our system will pull comparables on it and build a, a CMA so you can see exactly what that thing is worth. And it'll give you what the after repair value is. It's going to show you all the fix and flips in the neighborhood. It all happens just like that. And we've got a, a mobile optimized version of Privy. So if you're in the field, you just pop it up on your phone. You can do it right from the field. It's really easy to do. So that is really powerful. We also have a bulk upload. So if you're acquiring lists and you're running, you know, probates, you're doing any sort of foreclosures, all you got to do is just upload that CSV to our system and it will pull comparables on dozens, even hundreds of properties in seconds. So wow. absolutely. I mean, it just, it's all about time, right? Optimizing your time. And if you're, you know, if you've got a whole list, yeah, you can do it with our system one-on-one -on -one and it'd be way faster than if you, you know, just accessing the MLS or using Zillow, but there's even a faster way of doing it using the, the bulk upload. So we basically have designed a way for you guys to get a bunch of your time back. So you can spend time on the money-making activities and you can, uh, I was just talking to a friend earlier and he's like, I feel like, you know, I'm married to my, my business and my wife feels the same way. It's so like you, you're, you're taking time away from your family when you're doing all this stuff manually. Like we're going to give you a bunch of time back, right? And maybe you put that time right back into your business and, and just do other things. And that's okay too. So Privy is an effective tool for anybody that's, that's looking to get accurate values, who's looking for consistent and predictable deal flow. And it doesn't matter your experience level. So fix and flippers, wholesalers, buy and hold. If you're looking to do your first deal, we can help you do that. If you're looking to do a hundred deals this year and we've got people that are, we can help you do that too. It doesn't matter where, where you're coming from. We got tons of testimonials of people that have used Privy. Here's Anthony. He closed six uh, wholesale deals in the last 12 months and he's doing all on market stuff now. Here's a Johnny. He found his first, very first property on Privy and he made money on it. And he was trying to do all those kind of traditional off market marketing activities, like expensive mailing campaigns. And, you know, what a Johnny found too is I, I think he's traditionally from, um, I don't say it was Trinidad or uh, Jamaica. It's one of these um, kind of closer um, island communities. And he did, he speaks really well, but some people have a hard time. So he wasn't having great success, like on the phone. And not a lot of people are, even if you speak perfectly English, like not everyone is a salesperson. Not everybody is an expert marketer and not everybody feels comfortable doing all of those things. So you guys, there's a better way to do it where you don't have to be a professional marketer. You don't have to be a professional salesperson. You don't have to be a private investigator and chase people all around the, the state trying to get them to have a meeting with you. You can literally submit offers every day and you're only talking to your agent or to your business partner. So uh, with Privy right now, you can sign up. It's 97 bucks a month. There is no, um, there's no contracts or anything. And, and so for a year, it would be about 1164 bucks, right? Even with that, you can see here, like with, with Anthony, you know, he was making anywhere from three to $15,000 on his deals that he did. And obviously you're going to, it's going to pay for itself quickly, but I wanted to really put something together. It was a no brainer for you with some discounts and some bonuses and some training. So number one, I went out and Sean, remind me, I need to get you in here. Um, remind me, we got to, we got to do that interview. Um, so I went out and interviewed a bunch of, of investors who were doing deals all over the U S fixed and flippers, um, people who are building huge portfolios with hundreds of doors. Uh, fix and flippers who are doing dozens of deals per month. And you can learn a ton from those people, you guys. And so I asked them all their tips and tricks, everything that they're uh, working on, what's what to avoid, huge value. I give you that for free. And the next thing is support. So I don't just sell you a piece of software and then disappear. I'm going to be here to help you every step of the way. Our staff is committed to making sure you have what you need to be successful with the software. So I put together this VIP onboarding and 360 degree, degree support plan that includes one-on-one -on -one training with myself. So I'm actually going to help you create and save all your searches so you can get automated email alerts right to your inbox that you can check while you're at work or 
you know, when you're on the couch on a Sunday, like we're going to be sending you stuff that you can take action on every day, but I'm also going to um, help you and train you on what, it, what your specific strategy is. If you're doing wholesale fix and flip, if you're considering some other markets, I'll help you find the best markets to invest in and the best strategies to take advantage of that. Uh, we also have two live mastermind sessions per week. So with this plan, um, Monday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern, and also Tuesdays, I'm sorry, Thursdays at uh, 1 p.m. So you're going to have all of the support you need, even if you're not a techie, right? Some people get scared when they hear technology or algorithms, automation. It can be kind of a scary experience. Don't let it scare you guys. I'm going to really make it easy for you to get on board. We have people who are retired who basically know, basically don't know how to operate their smartphone, but they can use Privy because that's how simple we've made it. Um, the next thing is the master membership. So we are currently in 20 states. We're going to be nationwide soon. But when you sign up for Privy, you have to choose a market. But what we realize is now because of the data and the way we're expanding, we need a way for you to kind of expand with us. So with the master membership, you're going to get access to all of our current markets, all of our future markets, and we're going to give you access to that data that we're going to implement into Privy in March for free. And we're not 100% sure what we're going to charge for it. But if you're signed up before it launches, you will get it absolutely for free. So take advantage of that before it, it gets going. And then you'll get to take, you know, ride the wave with us. This is a kind of an, uh, a ground floor opportunity, if you will, for that new version. And um, we may not be doing that for very much longer. Uh, the next thing is, Sean was talking about all the other opportunities there. Like if you've got some money or if you can get private money or, or hard money and you can do your own deals, the time to learn that business is not once you got a deal. Like you really want to make sure you figured it all out. I can see Sean laughing yeah. um, before you get your deal going, right? Because as soon as it's under contract, like the experienced investor is already moving on. Like they're getting their, their general contractor on board, they're ordering materials, they're getting all their subs in place. Um, if it's a, um, a buy and hold, they're starting to list it. They're doing some, they're looking at some uh, maybe minor rehabs. You know, they're maybe getting their loan in order. So, you know, make sure you have this thing all figured out. This book is a huge, huge step in the right direction. I give you that for free too. All right. That's so just awesome, quick... guys, that's your dream team. He's talking about building. It is. And teams, everything, right? If you got a team that you like working with and you guys are vibing and everybody's holding each other accountable and you can depend on them to actually follow through and do what they say they're going to do, man, you just make sure you keep those people around, do everything you can to make people happy and they'll do the same for you. Yep. Um, so here's a quick summary of it. It's just a huge amount of value, you guys. Like everything we're giving you guys tonight will make you money. You just have to take action. You can't sit on the sidelines anymore. Back in 2020, when COVID was going on, I really think that people had a good excuse for not taking action and sit on the sidelines. But now we add another year to 2020 and, and it's 2021. Drop that barrier, get back in the game, get your systems in place, get your team in place get privy in place. We are going to help it make it so much easier for you to get your deals done. No matter what your exit strategy is 720 bucks for the year, you guys, that's only like spending 60 bucks a month. And I know people who spend more than this, just in coffee, going to Starbucks, sitting in that, that stupid line in the drive through getting coffee, like figure out what your priorities are. If you're going to make this business work, you need to figure out where you're spending your time and your money at. You got to start, if your times are tough and you're, you're, you're pinching, you know, look at where you're, 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 you're spending your money. This is one of the only businesses you can do, you guys, where you don't have a huge capital investment. Even some of like the cheapest businesses you can buy are, are hundred thousand dollars just to get started. We're talking about 720 that could literally find you a deal tomorrow. That'll make you $10,000 plus. Like that's what can happen for you if you take action. 30 day money back guarantee. There's no risk. You still get to take advantage of all the bonuses. You could still take advantage of me. Um, I don't know. I don't like the way I phrased that. <laughs> take advantage of me. Yeah. Um, and then I got another one, another bonus here for those of you that are 
um, looking to do wholesale or you're a broker or real estate agent, we've got a buyer's list here that I've been building for over eight years. It's got over 5,000 people on it and it's nationwide. It includes emails, phone numbers, names. It's all seg segmented out by states. So you can have a targeted approach on your reach out campaign and building those relationships. But this this will save you a ton of time. And honestly, you guys, this thing here by itself is easily worth a few thousand dollars. But I'm going to give that to you for free because I really believe that for some of you, it can make the difference because if you're thinking about, okay, I can get these deals, but who do I sell them to? Well, I showed you a couple of things tonight on how to find those targeted, but we're also going to give you that list. So if you don't have that in your budget, I would certainly suggest that you try to figure it out. I know some people who've you know, split it with their business partner or they you know, put it on a credit card or something like that. The bonuses really do make a difference, you guys, especially the, the live training, the one-on-one. -on -one. I'm literally going to set your system up for you. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. But if you can't make it work, you can still come on 97 bucks a month. Um, you can't get this deal from the website. So for, for the next 48 hours, you're going to be able to get this special offer. Either you choose annual or monthly. It comes with the rehab guidebook. It comes with all of the interview, um, all the interviews I did, and it comes with our deal analysis calculator set. So this is a standalone calculator set that helps you calculate um, your construction budget. It does a fix and flip and wholesale analysis. And we've got an ARV um, adjuster. So you can make those adjustments on um, when you're trying to calculate ARV based off of the differences between properties. Like one's a three bedroom, two bath, and yours is a so four bed, two bath. Like how does that affect your value? The calculator does all that for you. Also a 30 day money back guarantee on that. Absolutely no risk. So you guys, 48 hour special. The promo code is privy 2021. I'm going to put the links here in the chat and you guys can go ahead and start taking action. That's what this year is all about, right? Taking action. Um, Sean put his information in here. Um, it's seanyoungcoaches.com. If you want any advice on how to get started in wholesaling, if you want to, um, you know, get on Sean's team and start working with him, here's exactly how you do it. Um, I think too, Sean, we had some uh, little like perks that we could give out to him. Like some of the, uh, the stuff that was on, um, what was it, like your, your cash offer calculator and some yep. of the scripts and stuff, right? Absolutely, guys. Yeah, if you head over to seanyoungcoaches.com, you can take advantage of the uh, 10 steps to your first deal, a cash offer calculator, uh, talking to um, to uh, real realtors or and real estate agents, because you're going to definitely know want to know how to do that. So I'm giving all that away for free on the site, guys. Just head on there and, and hit that download button. Not to mention, guys, if you just do decide that you would like to utilize my coaching talents or services, um, this privy is part of that, guys. So I've, I've aligned with Benson because I believe in the software so much to be a crucial part of, uh, of an investor success that everyone who does have that program, um, who does come along with it, this is what we use. So, um, so I just want you guys to know this is powerful. This is powerful stuff. Or I wouldn't be up here with my man, Benson. I'm making it happen tonight with you guys. Yeah, I appreciate that, Sean. And mm -hmm. I mean, just, you know, truth be told, like it wasn't easy, right? For us to kind of get on the same page. Like, Not at all. <laughs> right. Cause you had kind of like the way that you were taught, the way you learn and the way you've gotten to build your business, you know, the heart, not obviously the hard way, like the way you know how to do it, right. Kind of the old fashioned way. Yeah. The quote unquote traditional way, right. The traditional way. Right. So what was that experience like? I mean, it was a grueling, it was a grueling up and down kind of, you know, ro roller coaster, you know, it, it, it competition when Different, um, it's a different game when your competition is, is little to, to none almost. I mean, look at this, guys. You, you can have the opportunity to have deals delivered to your box every morning, to your email every single morning versus you kind of getting up and saying, okay, let me see what's out there. And everyone else out there is going, yeah, let me see the, these same deals. And everyone's marketing and attacking the same people. It's a, it's a different ball game when you get to say, man, I see this one. I'm making an offer on that right now. I'm going to go ahead and lock this up on the contract and make some money on it. It's, it's, a, it's a game changer, guys. It's a game changer. Yeah, I like to work hard. I pride my, prided myself on hard working, but uh, guys, y y hard work isn't, isn't always the key. It's, it's a great ingredient, but uh, working smart combined with hard work is what you guys want to do. And this allows you to work smart. Oh yeah, well put. That is really well put. And one of the things that I, you know, we, we talk about is, is 
automation, putting systems in your place. You guys, even if you don't want to work with Privy, make sure you're looking at ways to, to have work happen when you're not working on your business. Like, you know, if you have to hire VAs to help you out, if you, you know, get some of these kind of these CRMs that are out there, there's a free one. Um, if anybody's interested, there's a free CRM out there that you should definitely check out. It's called HubSpot. They have a free version of it. I've taught some of our users how to use it. HubSpot, there's a free one that you can get. It does everything. It's one of the most robust um, customer resource managers out there. And they basically give it to you for free. So check out that. That's HubSpot.com. And just do Google it, HubSpot free CRM. Um, and if you, if you end up getting it, let me know. And I will put that into one of our training sessions and I'll show you guys how to use it. Yeah, HubSpot. He's, Steve spelled it right. If anybody else yeah, is looking at it. Yep. Now, Steve also asked about the pricing. It looks like I was confusing people about this. I apologize. I'm going on over three days without eating. <laughs> um, my mind's a little, a little blurry. Um, so $60 a month, if you get the one year for seven, for seven twenty, or $97 per month on monthly. Yeah. So the $60 a month is just to kind of help you compare apples to apples with the monthly cost. If you do decide to pay 97, I say 60, but it, cause it's just showing you, it saves you about almost 450 bucks over that same time period, but it is a 720 um, investment from the beginning, but it gives you access to privy for the whole year. And there's no additional monthly charges at all. It's 720 full month, full access for a, a 12 months. And then it's like paying 60. So it's just there to help you uh, create apples to apples. Um, what other questions do we have? You guys, anybody else have any other questions? Um, I also put in here, I put the links. So the promo code's privy 2020. And when you go and you click that link there that says register, that will take you to the registration page. Make sure you put the promo code in there and click the button that says update price. And that will lower the price down to 720. And then it will ensure that I can, will get you and send you the, um, the bonuses. So whether you choose monthly or annually, that will happen for you. Uh, I also put in my information, my contact info. So my email address is benson at teamprivy.com. Um, over the next 48 hours, you know, take this seriously. Like we're going to be able to, you know, help you in all areas of business, but talk to your business partner, you know, talk to your significant other, get your team on board with it. And uh, I know it's going to be a huge benefit, but if you've got questions, you can email me at benson at teamprivy.com. You can call me here in the office at 844-438-7748. And also if you are, you know, really close and you're like, boy, this is I really want to do this. I just have a couple other questions. There's a link here to schedule time on my calendar. So I'll book out some time with you over the next couple of days and we'll do a Zoom. And I will literally just kind of help you put all the pieces together. So you're like, you're confident in making that decision. But um, I would just suggest that if if you're if you're close and you're really serious about it, I'm, I'm willing to spend the time with you. And then um, I also put in there the markets that we're doing business in. And this is just where we're at currently. Um, I will show you exactly which markets you can get a good ROI and get a lot of deal flow in. And then when we launch nationwide, you're going to get all of those other markets for no additional charge. We're going to grandfather you in um, on this plan. All right, Sean put his, uh, his email or his website in there again. And then if, Sean, if they have questions, can they reach you through the yeah, website? You can, through the, you can reach me through the website, schedule okay. a time to, to get on a call with me as well. Awesome. Very cool. Um, well, you guys, I, uh, I thank you guys for being here. I am going to send you out a replay tomorrow. So in case you miss parts of it, or if you were distracted and you're cooking dinner or having spending time with the family, I'm going to send you a replay so you can kind of see what we did tonight and maybe help fill in some of the, the gaps that were there. I'm also going to send you all the deal details so you can really look at it and make sure you're making the right decision. And I'm also going to include uh, links to uh, Sean's information so you can reach out to him easily and um, talk to him about him helping you with your business, you know, giving you some, some support, some advice, and you know, you you leveraging his experience in the business and how he's gotten this far um, to really kind of shorten your learning curve and avoid making a lot of the mistakes that most investors make because they're trying to just hack the situation. They're trying to do it themselves and they're not really leveraging 
the experience of somebody who's been there and done that. It's a, it's a key ingredient. I definitely think you should um, look at that seriously. So Sean, buddy, thank you again for being here. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Thanks for having me, Benson. Thanks for having me. And guys out there, take action. Like he said, you got 48 hours. The time is now, guys. The time is now. Change your future right now. And this is a tool to, to make that happen, guys. Absolutely. Well put. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, we'll be talking to you soon. Everybody have a great night. Take care. Take care, everybody. With this crown on my head, I'm seated on the throne. The top is so alone. Only thing that keeps me gone is I know my city love me. I know my city love me. I know my city love me. I know my city love me.